as you're making plans to travel over the holidays or planning family vacations, you might want to consider a new way to travel. It's called voluntourism. And the idea is to combine touring and volunteering. Very cool stuff. Domestically and internationally, the opportunities are endless. And that's why we brought in travel expert Jane Chambers to explain how it works and which opportunity is right for your family. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so you say the first thing to start off with is time. How much time do you have? Is that right? Yeah, you need to vol you need to evaluate a lot of things when you're planning on on doing this and as with any vacation but you need to figure out do you have a weekend or do you have a week do you have a month mm. because there there are opportunities for all types of stays all lengths of stays okay and destinations what types of places should we be looking at so consider where it is you want to go okay. do you want to go to the Caribbean and just enjoy weather and maybe spend one day volunteering? Or do you want to go to Europe and spend a month in France and learn the French language while teaching a family the English language? Mm. So for people who don't know though, because some people might get it confused, voluntourism is the idea of traveling and doing other stuff at the same time? Exactly, and there are all different levels. So you may want to, and we're gonna talk about in a minute, volunteering while you're on a cruise. So, for example, a seven-day cruise, you might just spend three or four hours of your day at one of the ports volunteering. Oh, what kinds of things can you do? So, uh, for example, Holland America has Holland America Give Back program, uh -huh. which basically, uh, cruising with a purpose is what they actually call it, and you can volunteer in Juneau, Alaska with scientific research. Wow. Mm, nice. Okay, and this... this you can choose lots of destinations. You right. mentioned Europe, the Caribbean, and I would imagine all over the world. Right, and a big thing is like interest. Is that right? Like you have to look at what your personal interests are? Yeah, think so that you get the most out of it. Think about what it is you want to do. Uh, various programs from volunteering with senior citizens to children, animals, or it just might be like scientific research. Mm -hmm. You could put your skills to the test as well and help <laughs> some people at the same time. You don't have to have any skills. Oh, that's oh, good. You don't have to have the skills. <laughs> you just have to have have to have the desire to help. Okay. Obviously, if you have skills you want to use, let's say you work in the medical profession, certainly that can be put to use. Let's say you're a carpenter, that can be put to use. Okay. But if you don't have those skills, go. If you have the desire, they'll put you to work. Okay, so don't let it deter you if you don't have the skills. That's what right. What about the financial situation here? Because will you save money by traveling this way, or could it be expensive? Yeah, there are so many programs. You can find something to fit your budget. Anything from, you know, like I said, if you just took a little short three or four day Bahamas cruise, mm -hmm. you can spend one of those days, you know, on a little vacation, on a little tour, you know, volunteering. And it will just cost you, you know, the cost of a normal shore excursion, say 60 or $70. Right. Or you can spend a week in Malta. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it costs you $1,500 to get there in airfare. Yeah. So wow. it just depends on your budget. Okay. Wonderful ideas, and we will put resources on our website so that our viewers Great. can find out how they can book these volunteerism excursions. And yeah. also, travel agents can help them as well with that. So. Absolutely. Travel leaders. I love <laughs> it. All right. Well, thank you so much Certainly. for being here with us and explaining all this. I love this. Volunteerism. All right. We'll tell you some more about some more exciting things. I love this. We'll see you right after the break.